If you want to write Java programs using a text editor and the command line compiler, this lesson is going to tell you what you need to do to get ready. There are only three things to consider. You need to download the compiler, decide on a text editor, and set the path variable. Once you've completed these three steps, you're ready to start writing and compiling Java programs. Downloading and installing the Java compiler is the simplest of the three steps. You go to this website and select the version you wish to install and start downloading the file. You'll find several versions of Java available for Solaris, Linux, and Windows. I can't tell you which version to download because new ones keep appearing all the time, but you should be able to select one that will work for you using the terminology from the previous lesson. If you use a modem to connect to the Internet, you should be aware that the downloads are large, multiple megabytes, and the later the version, the larger the download. One of the options you'll have presented to you is to download the NetBeans version of Java. NetBeans is an IDE, so if you're in the process of evaluating IDEs, you probably want to try this one. You can only download one version or the other. It's never a good idea to mix an IDE version of Java with a non-IDE version on the same machine. You wind up with a system that's mixed up and may or may not work, and you really can't trust it. Of course, you can pick one and try it, then uninstall it, then try another. There's no problem in loading several different versions of the command line compiler onto the same machine. They don't interfere with each other in any way. Once you have downloaded the file from Sun, you'll need to execute it, and it will guide you through the installation process, which is really nothing more than selecting some options and an installation directory. The default selections are fine. The next thing you'll want to do is decide on your text editor. You can download a new editor if you like, or you can use one of the ones you already have. Some folks like to use a word processor, but if you do, make sure you always save the Java files as plain ASCII text. The point is, which editor you use doesn't make any difference as long as you're able to create and modify ASCII text files. The traditional editor that comes with DOS is called Edit. It's already installed, and you can run it by simply entering the word Edit from the command line. It's a bit of a rudimentary editor and takes a bit of learning, so if you're going to be learning a new text editor, I would suggest spending your time learning a different one. Another editor that comes with DOS and Windows is called Notepad. It's a fairly simple editor, but lots of people seem to like it. It does have one strange quirk. Whenever you save a file to a new name, you must put quotes around the name. If you don't, the editor will change the name to something else. It'll trim off the end of the name and stick something else on there. The Note tab editor is free for the download. Many people like this editor very much. That seems especially true of those that have used Notepad or Edit for any length of time. It does have some features that make it easier to compile and run Java programs. TextPad is another editor that many people have recommended. It also has features for compiling and running programs, and some prefer it to Notepad. You can find links to these editors through this website. Also, this website includes links to other editors and tools that you may find useful. I can't list the current state of everything here because it all keeps changing, so if you're exploring for a new editor, go take a look at the current list at this website. The third and final step is to insert the name of the directory into those included in the path environment variable. Now, if you're unfamiliar with path, you may want to go and find some documentation that fits with your system to find out what the path environment variable is and how to set it. Simply put, the path environment variable contains a list of names of directories. Whenever you enter a command from the command line, the system will search through the directories for a program by that name, and if it finds one, it runs the program. You must have the path set to the directory containing the Java compiler and the other Java programs, as well as your text editor. To see how it's currently set on your system, just open a DOS window and enter the word path. The current path setting will be listed. Each of the directories in the list will be searched for any command you enter. 
Notice in this example that the last directory in the list is the one that was added, and it's the one containing the Java compiler for Java version 1.4.2. The path variable contents can be edited in the System Properties window. The window shown here lists the environment variables on a Windows XP system, but other versions of Windows since 95 and 98 all work basically the same way.